And this week, it's all about personal music players. It is the Sony Walkman versus the Apple iPod. In 1979, the Sony Walkman became the original and, to my mind, the best personal music player ever. Listening to music while jogging or getting your sweet groove on on a pair of roller skates wasn't possible until the little eggheads at Sony got together and invented this compact and stylish personal music player. Ah. The man behind the creation of the Walkman was Sony's co-chairman, Marita, who asked the technicians to make something that would let him listen to opera during long flights. Their invention created a revolution in the way we all now listen to music. Initially, sales of the device were on the small side, until Sony had an idea to send all of their employees out onto the streets of Tokyo, armed with Walkmans, to demonstrate their high-quality sound. It wasn't long before the Walkman became a global success, and by the end of the century, total Walkman sales exceeded 150 million, and the word Walkman had been included in the Oxford English Dictionary. It's exactly 30 years since the way we listen to music was changed forever, and it's all thanks to this, the Sony Walkman, and that's why I think it fully deserves its place on the Wall of Fame. Oh, 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 oh. The Sony Walkman's great if your music collection consists of just one album, but what if you've got 2,000 or 20,000 songs? Then you'd need not one, but four very large wheelbarrows to cart your music collection around in. Or you could just use one of these, the iPod. Smaller than the Walkman, yet holds up to a 1,000 times more songs. This thing was the real revolutionary personal music device. When the iPod burst onto the scene in 2001, Apple boss Steve Jobs said, listening to music will never be the same again, and he was right. What Apple got right with the iPod and its iTunes software was that they created the best and simplest digital music supply chain in the world. Shop, library and player all in one neat little package. That said, perhaps its biggest achievement of all was that it made technology as sexy as hell. The name was thought up by a freelance copywriter. Someone basically paid a lot of money to think of good names, called Vinny Chico. And when he saw the prototype of the iPod, it reminded him of the movie 2001, A Space Odyssey, and that much quoted line, open the pod bay, Hal. He added a little I, and an icon was born. To date, 180 million iPods have been sold worldwide, and it still totally dominates the MP3 market. Everybody who listens to music either has one or wants one, and there isn't another interface that's as simple and satisfying as the iPod wheel. This is what modern technology should be like. It will never be forgotten, and that's why the iPod should be on the Gadget Show Wall of Fame. Fascinating pictures, I really enjoyed them, but I've got a couple of questions before I make my final decision. For Jason, with the Walkman, why haven't Sony got a more dominant position in the music player market today? Obviously, the Walkman brand does exist on phones, mm. but um, I think what's more important is that this was the first personal music player ever. You can't <laughs> have another first, and for me, you know, that's why it's got such a crucial role in our gadget DNA. And for Susie and the iPod, great product, but isn't it just too expensive, just a bit of bling? No! Look at it! It's so <laughs> sexy! It was a, the first really beautiful gadget for men and for women. So easy to use with its little click dial. Ah, oh, everybody wanted an iPod. Everybody still wants an iPod. All oh, those colours, do you right. want me to continue? No, no in, in, enough. I have now made my decision. It's a very difficult one, actually, because I think both products actually deserve a place on the Wall of Fame. But a decision has to be made. The iPod. Yay! because it's not only a product which has been very desirable, hugely successful. They've produced the whole structure to go with it. That's why it's got its place on the Wall of Fame, slightly above the Walkman can you for me. Imagine, can you imagine how ridiculous I feel? Dressed like this. 